Amazon just, you know, there's still, I mean, even at 15 for Amazon, I'm, I'm on the side that that's too low for Amazon. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> like they're huge. It, it's just, I don't know. It's a little infuriating to see these companies that just stockpile cash instead of, but I believe Apple employees, like even retail, I think makes pretty Above minimum. Good. Yeah. Good. And retailers. I, I think 20, it's I looked into it a little while. Yeah. I wanted to work there for a while. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> same, yeah, same. I don't know what it is now, but I wanted to before I, before YouTube took off. I was I, I had a friend that worked at an Apple store, and he said um, only two percent. This was a few years ago, so it might be different now. But sure. he said only two percent of the applicants get hired. Yeah. But um, those who do get hired, it's it's better than minimum. I think it's probably when I was like looking, it was between now. eighteen and twenty. But that was yeah. back when like nine dollars. I bet it's was closer to twenty five. Yeah, but uh, they also said they have these programs in place that let you, um, if you want to travel, or or there there was a friend because I've spent a lot of time in Apple stores over yeah. the years. <laughs> when I was waiting for my product to be ready, I would just make small chat with the yeah. Apple employees, and they would say stuff like they have these programs where you could travel overseas and work at a different Apple store, and they'll even pay for certain types of your education or if you want to pursue something else they had all these like internal programs that they were talking about it basically sounded like a really nice place to live you notice uh a lot of apple employees talking about how nice it is when you talk to apple employees at apple stores (laughs) i miss doing that i haven't done that in forever but uh it seems like they prioritize the workers at least with Apple, pretty well. I mean, Foxconn. Not Foxconn. Story, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think the end result with uh, Amazon and Foxconn is probably just going to be more automation to the point that they're not thinking how do we give these people raises. They're thinking how do we get rid of these people entirely and just <laughs> do everything robotic. And there's it's just a big alien uh, juggernaut machine that's producing yeah. shipping boxes yeah. and there's no people and. That's probably what they're shooting for eventually, but yeah, unfortunately. But it does sound like a fun place to work. Yeah, I, I applied there. I, I think, or, sorry, I was going to apply there um, mm-hmm. back in high school, early college, I think. Mm. Oh wow! Um, end of high school, early college, and then they they were basically like, "Hey, we don't really do a student thing. Like, mm-hmm. you need yeah. to be either full time or part time." And I was like, "Well, I'm you know in this, I'm three hours away for most of the year at school." And they yeah. were like, yeah, because my, my dad actually knows, um, in St. Louis, he knows one of the managers at, uh, oh, cool. I think, West County Apple. So mm-hmm. I had like so a So he slightly... knows what the iPhone 13 is going to be exactly. like. Exactly, right? yes. Um, <laughs> it's always my favorite. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. There was a point in my young career as an Apple fan where I would ask the employees what was <gasps> going to be on the next phone. And... I think we all did. I'm cringing. I think I'm everybody cr- For the audio listeners, I am cringing as I say this. Um, I do remember there was one guy that actually did follow the rumors, and he was like, yeah, it's going to... I think it was like... He was like, iPhone 5 is going to be a little bit bigger, but that's just what I'm hearing. And I was Ooh. just like, oh. And, and okay. he didn't work there the next day. They fired him. <laughs> yeah, I know Tim was like, hey. policy. They... No, they can't. Everyone that. wants to bring the dummy models into the store and see what happens. You know, <laughs> everyone's got to do that at least once. But eventually, yeah. you 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 turn nine years old and realize that the employees <laughs> figure this all out at the same time we do. Yeah. <laughs> but we're just convinced that they have these little meetings back there. <laughs> okay, guys. Yes. So in six months, Apple's going to do this, and we Crazy. want you to know. But that. don't tell anyone except for <laughs> the kid who imagine? comes and asks you nicely. <laughs> Like, could you imagine if retail employees had access to, like, confidential info? The, oh. the amount, like, everything would leak instantly. That would basically okay. be public. Yeah. It would. That I mean, would it essentially was, be yes. releasing. Those open, letters, those open letters that Tim do? Like, yeah. Instantly. It's like uh, Elon Musk does those memos to employees that basically as soon as he writes them, they show up on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> that would be what would happen if Apple was told. It's like as he's typing up, all their... it, it's showing up on, on Twitter. Yeah. Yes. I that know. would. <laughs> I, I I do miss Apple stores. I do want to visit Cupertino. We'll have to do a, a trip mm. and a collab there. That would be fun. That'd be fun. Yeah, we should all meet Dude, up. Dude, I, I want to do like a. I want to do like a like an Apple YouTuber like meetup. Yes. That'd be so fun. Like that does sound fun. Get Philip from EAP there. Get John. Get you. We'd probably draw quite Nick the crowd. Yeah. Like that would. We should just do like an event. We should just do like a little. Remember? You remember? I would this love is a deep cut. You guys remember when Marquez, Jonathan Morrison, 
Unbox Therapy and Austin Evans did that meetup like seven years ago in LA mm-hmm. and they sold Vaguely. tickets for it. That mm. was so cool. I, I remember seeing that. I was like, damn, that would be really, really cool to go to. Mm-hmm. We should make but, like an Apple con and just. That would be. <laughs> That you heard it here sick. first. This is now my that life goal. Apple make an con. Apple con. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> That'd be really, really a big event. We'll, we'll, we'll rent out the, uh, what do they do? Double, double, or they used to do WWDC Moscone. in the uh, Moscone Center. We'll rent it out the week before. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. We have to do it right outside Apple, too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll invite Tim. Meeting in the oh. parking lot in front of Apple. Oh, my gosh. That would be so good. <laughs> <laughs> that would draw quite the crowd. Yeah. This was a clip from the Telosive Podcast Archive. If you want more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And of course, hit that like button to ensure that a Google Pixel sheep has one more tear fall from their eye.